Hey guys, it's so here bringing you another video. Welcome back to Prepare for Season 8 Preseason Edition. Uh, I've got a couple of ideas what I'm going to play today, uh, but I'm actually going to ban something that people wouldn't expect. I'm going to ban Maokai. I dislike playing against them. The sustain and the tankiness is just annoying. Um, so yeah, but I'm thinking of playing Graves in the top lane. Um, which would be Domination Electrocute. Uh, sudden impact because your E, zombie ward is quite useful, and then relentless hunter. Uh, no, I'm gonna go ravenous hunter, and then precision with triumph and coup de grace, or coup de grace, however you want to say it. Some people are also taking that on him too, the permanent life steal. Hmm. But I'm gonna, I am gonna go a lifesteal build, but I'd rather have the like damage to kill people. Well, depending what we're against, depending what we're against. Ugh. Um. Okay, so we get a Syndra. They get a Zin and a Zaya, both of which can actually count the Syndra ultimate. Zin ultimate can then block all outside damage, and Zaya if she ultimates at the right time. So that's annoying for Syndra. Um. We got a Vi. Which we did play not that long ago. We, she's quite strong at the moment. Now what AD carry are we going to get? Oh, so that guy's name doesn't go. His name is Disgusting Hooks and he's in the clan Bard. So maybe he was like, he used to be a Blitzcrank player and then dropped Blitzcrank or something. I don't know. Interesting. It's kind of funny though. Um, a lot of people are talking about top lane at the moment. But if you look at the bands... Orn, Maokai, and Shen are three of the most heavily complained top laners uh, that people are complaining about at the moment because they're just ridiculous. They they win lane. Um, they win lane as these tanks and they, they do more DPS than everybody else. It's it's kind of crazy. Oh, let's go victorious. I don't know if I've played with this yet. Wait. Oh, I've got a skin for it because I... Wait, was this flex queue? That might be in flex. I'm against a Pantheon, okay. As long as I survive the early game, I'll outscale. And it's just because of the standard. Uh, so yeah, again, I'm against a Pantheon. Um, so just early survival. And then I'll outscale, probably. Um, but it'll, again, he might have Ignite. He might go Spellbook, for all I know. And Zin might come top lane to like, pressurize, because they know they have to get a Pantheon ahead. So that might be interesting. Um, so yeah, without much further ado, uh, we're playing Graves top lane. All right, welcome to the game today. We're playing Graves in the top lane, continuing our kind of like off meta -y stuff that we're doing. Uh, and I will say, um, today's second video, if I've done things correctly, and that's an if, uh, will be a whole league discussion about which type of Unranked to Diamond we're doing in the new season. Um, so Unranked to Diamond will be starting, uh, you know, in a few, like a month or something like that in January. And uh, it's going to be a big discussion about which type we're doing. Obviously, this is kind of... Uh, this is why you don't be AFK at the start of the game. Um, but this, you know, the past few episodes of what we're doing now is kind of reminiscent of what it may be if we do off meta the diamond. But we'll, we'll do a whole discussion. So make sure you tune into that video later. It'll be with a QT discussion uh, that will be, you know, giving away some riot points and stuff like that. But uh, yeah, so... Um, this is why you don't be AFK at the start of the game, uh, because invades are a thing, and uh, you just give away free stuff if you be AFK. Uh, if you are wanting to be AFK for whatever reason, just don't be in anywhere that's danger. Be in safety. I like. I need to answer the door. I don't know. Go next to a tower. Don't just randomly just kind of go like this. Oh, I'm fine. Like if you're like over here, and then go. Oh, I'm gonna tab out and look at Reddit. Don't do that. <clears throat> All right. So we're playing Graves top lane um i don't really know why um i literally when i started up the stream people were suggesting stuff for me to play and i wasn't loving all the suggestions so i was like screw it i'm gonna play graves in the top lane i haven't seen anybody do it it hasn't been like a pick that i've been like oh i've been looking at this and people are doing it no just randomly playing it i've done it before but not with the new runes what i'm thinking though is in this matchup Okay, I'm on my way. Please, 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 please. If she doesn't come at the same time, I'm gonna cry. 
Yeah, okay, Vi, I can't trust this Vi from now on, I guess. He's not got any flash, remember? Thank you. And that's why definitely collapsing. But, like, she, uh, she took a sweet time to do that. Like, as I was, like, flanking behind where the Zin 100% had to go, she was, like, still running away. It's like, uh... You should probably be running towards him, not away now. He might be dead. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby! <laughs> yeah. Yeah, baby! <laughs> okay, I've got to go back pretty soon because I reckon Zin will come top lane. Because he didn't have his red buff, right? I'm pretty... Or did he? No, he had blue. So he's top lane. Oh, man. Oh, that hit! Damn, I'm surprised that had range. But he, she should take his red now. So, damn, this Zin is very aggro. So they go for an early invade. They get the kill on the Vi. He does an invade to the blue without flash... And then instead of going... And now Vi's doing the same thing. Why are both junglers like this? So both of them are just kind of derpy. I'm just teleporting to save her, pretty much. Like, I just panic bought. This isn't really the items that I want. Boom! That's a lot of damage. Uh, it's not the item that I wanted, but I had to panic buy because she needed help. Otherwise, she was dead. Also, I did a lot of damage to them. But yeah, god. So these two are very similar. Both kind of doing a lot of derpy stuff. Zin has got the better end of the stick, kinda, so far. Because uh, he's got two kills. But I guess Vi's farmed more. But, you know, giving us heart attacks. I don't exactly know what I'm going to build this into now. I guess Death's Dance. And bot lane is losing quite hard. I'm going to have to go back again pretty soon, I reckon. Yeah. I don't want to overstay. So... Wrong one. This, I guess. Not sure if I really want to rush it, but... I had to go back early. Oh well. What do I think about voice chat? I hope it never comes to League. I'll never use it. Uh, we've we've had this discussion before. But yeah, I I will never ever ever use voice chat. I'm not here to relive my Xbox One days and have 13 year olds scream at me. Don't don't not not really that appealing to be honest. I'm not sure if this is wise because he's level three, and yeah, like I don't know. Level three's bards are easy pickings for pretty much everything on the map. Uh, also, you have to remember that Pantheon does not have teleport. Um, so I can freeze this and kind of choke him out. That sounded weird. Um, but I'm ahead on farm and I've based once more than him. He's dead. Thank you. But Pantheon is a really weak pick nowadays. I know Bruiser's kind of got uh, the short end of the stick, but... I've always thought Pantheon's quite weak. Like, Pantheon's strength is his early game, and I'm beating him in the early game, so I don't really think he has much hope to do well this game. Oh, how much damage? Did... Okay, no. Something happened in bot lane. Oh, no, LeBlanc got killed. So I'm saying he's actually not a weak pick. Uh, for most players in League, he probably isn't. Pantheon's the, a, a very good example of, like... Because some people say, like, what's good in low rating, what's good in high rating. Pantheon is probably the best example of that. He's pretty damn strong. And if you ask any, like, bronze or player or silver player, they'd probably say he's, like, really strong and overpowered. Ask any high rating player, they'll say he's really weak. Uh, probably he's the biggest example of that more than, like, anyone else in League of Legends. Um, so yeah, he's, he's just so easy to predict what he's going to do. He's like very straightforward. 
he falls off late game. His early game, as long as you don't get abused by him that much, he can't do anything. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, Yi is... I guess Yi is another example of that. Um, definitely. And there's nothing wrong with that. That You have to have champions that are built for different areas of the game. Um, again, someone's using the prime example of one tricks. Again, what do we say? Don't use one tricks for that type of argument. We talk about the average player, not one tricks that put thousands of games into their champion. Again, you probably are new. That's fine. But that's just a little basic thing that we always say. Because... Yeah. Oh, I mucked up. Woo, I mucked up big time there. I got hit by the tower and then got stunned under it. My question is, do you think... I mugged up. Oh, I mugged up! I thought he would die, but he just didn't die. Balls. That was my bad. Oh, here we go. Oh, she flashed. That was underwhelming. Yeah, my auto got blocked. I think because his W, if I'm not mistaken, his W activates his passive, which is the block of, of the W. Yeah, that was my bad. Again, there'll be some people rejoicing in the comment section going like, Look, he, I, you said he's weak. He just killed you. Again, personal mistake. We are playing Graves top that I don't play. So it, it will be partially I don't exactly know my strength as Graves. But, yeah. Oh. Interesting. But, like, you know, if... What, I, what I'd say is... If you really wanted to, like, say I was on my main account right now and I was tryharding, trying to climb. It was in, in ranked season, not in this. I'm winning on farm against a Pantheon in the early game. I could just play passive, not risk anything, and this Pantheon would be able to do nothing. Um, but I went aggressive on him. Why? Because it's preseason. That's the, that's the thing. Like, I could choose to play kind of passive and not really let him get anything from me. But that's kind of boring. She just took so much damage going for that. Oh, that lot, little dinky dink. Zin might be doing that by himself, by the way. That's a pretty... Oh, no, he's bot lane. They're dead. I need to get... Oh, no, I got my lifesteal. Okay. So, yeah, Vi, I think, uh, didn't realize how squishy she is. Do I have death stance now? Nearly. What's Leona doing? What, like, what are you doing? She stayed around. I could have TP'd by now, by the way, and killed her. But, like, I, who would expect the Leona to overstay that much? I don't. Oh, they're so low. Bored. No one's listening to what I'm saying. Oh, they don't need me. Like, I wanted to teleport in because my ultimate would have just cleaned them up, but... Nit. They killed all three of them. Pantheon might ult down. If he ults down, I'll teleport to match it. Because I may as well. But LeBlanc's nearly oom, so if Pantheon went in right now, they he'd 100% die. But I will match the teleport. Goody. Slow reaction times. You can't have that slow reaction times if you want to survive. Vayne just kind of stood there like, Hello, Pantheon, land on my face. Oh, that's annoying. She really shouldn't have died. She was in slow motion.
I'm gonna bias the god. Thanks so much, dude. Wait, you're basing? And you missed your stun. Okay. Alright, got Inferno, which is great. Oh. She's only level 7. The Vi is less level, by the way, than the Leona. She needs to get to farming, because she's getting outscaled. Just purely and simple by level. Okay, he did that. Probably is going to happen in top lane. Uh, that... That Rai guy, dude? Thanks so much, dude. Dude. <laughs> yeah, top lane. Kind of expected that. Goodbye, my tower! And they're dead. It's kind of funny that, like, Bard said, Vayne, more aggressive, please, and then instantly dies. It's like, well, maybe that's a bad idea. Will they keep pushing? Doubt it. Nice mid. Nice, so nice, so. And the Blanc is moaning about losing a 1v1. As you do. That's always confusing to me. Wait, Vi said it? Really? Oh, I'm wrong. Sorry. Why is Vi saying that? That's Panty not in mid lane. Eh, she's dead. Ugh, this should give me this tower, though. So far, though, Graves, you know, I think he's all right. Nothing to scream about. Noth like, honestly, and I know this sounds weird, Graves' top is probably more meta than both um, the last two picks I've done. Uh, the, uh, the Morgana and... Um, what's the phrase? But I don't think he's better. Like, he doesn't feel that strong compared to the other stuff I've been doing. No, why did she walk in? She could have got away then. Oh, Vayne misplayed that. She Like, if she ran slightly to the left instead of running back right, she would have got out of the Bard ultimate and Zin would have been Bard ulted. Boom. Be fine. Oh, yeah, I played Tarek. That was it. Tarek was great. Tarek was really good. Um, hmm. I'd say late game, we're probably going to win this game pretty easy. They've got two champs that don't do amazing with grouping in, in most situations. Like, LeBlanc sometimes has a hard time finding stuff to do. Same with Pantheon, especially when you group. Because wherever he's landing, you just all focus and he dies instantly. So, yeah, with grouping and that, I think we'll be fine. Especially if, like, Syndra lands, like, a really good stun. I think that would make it a really good thing. Did she not notice? The map awareness of these people is really bad. She didn't see uh, Leona on the map. Mm, do decent damage. So that's what I mean. He just landed and he's like nearly instantly dead. Imagine that, but we're five people. He's literally going to do nothing. And that's again, the higher rate you go, the more coordination you're most likely going to have. Ipso facto, he gets, you know, weaker and weaker. Hit that once, hit that once. Mm, I know like she wants to be next to him to do like damage, but like really she's risking it. She did get him with using heal, but that was risky. There we go. They're literally, like I just said, like with grouping and that, we have advantage. We just did a little bit of a group, just as like a little preview of what mid late game is going to be. Easily wipe them out. Like, no competition. That's just going to get worse for the enemy team. And again, that's just knowing basic or like how champions work. 
Um, some people I've seen in the comments go, how do you know this stuff? It's hard to explain, but you'll just get it the more you play League. You, you just gain knowledge and you kind of, very quickly, you can work out how team comps work. You know, just like going, okay, that pick and that pick and that pick and that pick. Th this team comp is really weak at grouping. Like, they've got some elements of strength to grouping, but they've also got some very big weaknesses to grouping. Now, I will say there are other, obviously, some big mistakes that are happening by my team. Um, Syndra keeps doing the same thing. And it isn't really working. Okay, the ignite kind of ruined my day. Oh, I'm dead. Wait, Zinna's a GA? Okay. Oh, the ignite ruins my healing. His Vi should go tank, I think. Let me go. She said, uh, yeah, she did. Eh, uh, that sucked. Opinions on Teemo being strong right now? Uh, he's not that strong. Mm, the positioning is interesting. But yeah, like, if um, the Vi wanted to win this game you and you take personal pride out of things, just go tank Vi. Or tankier Vi. Because when you look at our champion breakdown, she doesn't need to do anything other than CC a target with her ultimate. Uh, but because like, she's so squishy, whenever she's using her ultimate, she just gets killed instantly. Um, which obviously is not very good. Is Vayne has protection, we, uh, we, we, we might win the game. Don't think I can uh, go for this. Yup. Whoa, what just happened? Uh, Shishin thinks he should be nerfed. Uh, Shishin thinks everything should be nerfed unless it's called Jax. That dude is not a solid information pool. Really could do with the Black Cleaver ball before we fight, but oh well. Hmm. I wonder... He could be running into death. Ooh, yeah. He's gonna turn, surely. Okay, Bard's got ultimate. Just slow him, dude. Yeah, Bard's done actually a really good job there. Ult! Bit messy, but we'll take it. Okay, we, we should look to fight this. We don't have Bard ult, which is pretty important, but I think it's okay. I'm coming in for a, like a rear flank so I can absolutely wreck. Let's go. How have we killed anything? Okay, we are. I don't know what Vayne's done. Vayne is full health chasing a Zin. Like, it's... Why is our AD carry chasing down a Zin and now dying by herself? Like, come on, Vayne. There's more input and then your cha... Oh my god, the decision making is incredible. Don't... Don't chase like that. Vayne, holy moly. She literally went by herself to chase down a Zin... Uh, a thingy. That makes no sense whatsoever why she did that. Uh, <laughs> this game is really, really easy if like people just play it correctly. If Vayne stayed with us, aced, she doesn't die when Pantheon inevitably comes and like Zin killed her because he has GA. It's like, oh, uh, 
Just stay grouped where people can protect you. Don't go by yourself. Hello? Is she raging out? We did see that she's kind of ragey, the Vi, so I'm presuming she's given up. Building full damage and just giving up. Damn this Vi. Like, again, preseason is awful in general. But you get people that just don't seem to care about winning more in preseason. That's why I'm not on my main account at the moment. It's just too annoying because you get people like this Vi. That just are going to lose you the game. She's going to die if she overstays like two more seconds. Pretty sure she's dead. Yep. Oh, well done, Vi. Great play. Good team player. 10 out of 10. Would never want to play with you again. Okay, let's leave. Oh, well. Just keep doing what we can do, to be honest. That's all you, you can kind of ask for. People want to lose you the game. Again, there's not a lot you can do. Other than just play as well as you can. It just doesn't make any sense why she's doing what she is. If they misposition really badly, like, we might be able to just kill them. Like, Bard Ultimate or something? Oh. Come on! Vayne was more confident. I reckon we'd like kill them so easily. Zinn is still bot. That was a 4v5 and we didn't. Oh, we might win it now. Depends if people can get there. Okay, let's just mute this Vi because screw this person. Ugh. <sighs> I hate this vein. Legit hate this vein. That could have been so much better. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I'm probably more demoralized than I should be, because, again, I'm not on my main account or anything, but it is kind of demoralizing when one person just kind of loses you the game. And this game has definitely been... Like, the veins obviously had moments of weirdness. Like, everybody has. I guess I have as well. But the Vi's just... The Vi's just general play has lost us a lot more than helped. It's just kind of annoying. Just leave me bot lane. I can easily kill all this stuff really fast. Zaya's on here. We only have this game is if, like, Vi stops having a toddler tantrum. And Vayne doesn't muck up. So it's a very big if. Because both of those things... Like, I don't know. And she's nearly dead again. She's dead again. The Vayne just constantly is mucking up. And the Vi is probably not going to help anymore. Like, me split pushing is okay. I've got teleport. I can, like, go and help. But... Yeah. This is stupid. That literally makes no sense.
We have any CC? <sighs> okay, that's actually a Graves thing. I was wondering what that random bullet was every now and then. It's this base. When this guy goes back, he randomly shoots a bullet. He just goes... Pew! So bot lane hidden hib is still open, which means supers are still going there. So I, I think I still need to be bot lane. Because we can't allow supers to enter our base, because then most likely I'm 100% Vi's going to take that, yeah. Just an awful team player. Okay, they mucked up in mid lane again, and Zin is just doing his normal split push. Uh. Oh well. Win some, lose some. And this game, by the way, should be pretty much a free win. But this is the prime example of where attitudes take over the game of League of Legends. So it doesn't matter which team should win. It's about which team is going to win. He's on 10 health. So Vayne went in by herself again, if you didn't realize. Now I'm dead. Vayne just kept going in by herself again. Oh well, GG. Uh, Graves' top lane doesn't seem weak. I actually felt kind of strong, but this game was just a little bit too out of reach. You had the Vi that just was raging out. You had the Vayne that constantly was just doing stuff by herself and just dying. And then Syndra got caught a couple times in the late game again. I don't play perfect, but... I don't think I caused uh, the loss. Um, so, yeah. Could definitely play better, but... Yeah. So, we went 6 4 7, 224 CS, got an A plus, and damage done. Uh, we did the second most damage in the game just behind the LeBlanc. So, LeBlanc, me, and then Zaya. My Vayne was down here. My Syndra did very little damage. Uh, and the Zin did no damage as well, but you guys saw what the what the Zin did. The Zin just like split push the whole game, and it worked. It worked really well, um, and that's where like some people always say, uh, "How do you deal with split pushing?" Uh, obviously, I don't split push that much because I find it relatively boring. It can be fun if you're doing it correctly, but split pushing is heavily countered by good synergy, good team play, and this game was definitely not a game that we had. You know, the Vi just nothing. The Vayne went by herself a lot of the time, so. We couldn't really counter it if, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, the Zaya did 100 more damage than me. Or well, not 100, but, you know, 70 more damage than me. Um, but, yeah, unfortunate game. Uh, kind of annoying, but I'm going to probably upload this uh, because, one, I think it does show that Graves is pretty strong. Um, again, we're doing more off-meta picks mainly for fun. Uh, but, two, just to kind of highlight that, again, I, I like highlighting it very occasionally. Um, but no matter what rating you are, you're going to have idiots. It just is a thing. It's solo queue. It's not a thing that is just for bronze or just for silver. It's solo queue in general. And you're always going to get a Vi. Like, you're you're always going to get this person. They exist everywhere. They exist in Challenger. Um, so yeah, it's demoralizing. It's annoying. But hopefully that doesn't put you off. Because um, a lot of people go, oh, I'm just going to give up because I get this. It's everywhere. So if it's everywhere, you may as well just keep playing, right? Uh, so that's going to be it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed somewhat. Uh, if you've got any more kind of off-meta-y stuff or you want me to play, put it in the comment section down below. Like and subscribe. See you guys next time. See you.